Hatching Chicken Eggs Introduction This comprehensive guide is tailored for individuals new to the art of egg incubation, providing a thorough walkthrough of the processes involved in successfully incubating and hatching eggs from a variety of poultry, including chickens, ducks, turkeys, and geese. Choosing an incubator Before embarking on the egg incubation journey, selecting an appropriate incubator is paramount. The choice depends on various factors, such as budget constraints and the desired capacity for egg storage. Firstly, exercise caution when considering cheap Chinese incubators available on online platforms like eBay, Amazon, AliExpress, etc. Although the allure of their low prices is understandable, these incubators often compromise on quality. For those initiating their incubation endeavors on a limited budget, the Hovabator presents itself as a viable option. Constructed from styrofoam, it may not excel at maintaining temperature stability, but its affordability makes it an attractive choice. Additionally, digital readout options are available. Stepping up in terms of budget and aiming to incubate around 30 eggs, the IncuView proves to be a reliable choice. Priced under $200, it includes an automatic turner, offering a clear view of hatching chicks. For those with a smaller batch of eggs, the Brincia Mini, though relatively expensive for its size, boasts exceptional reliability. Brincia also offers larger models, recognized for their reliability, foolproof operation, and warranty. While on the pricier side, especially for larger models accommodating over 30 eggs, they are a preferred choice for many experienced incubators. In scenarios where the egg count is in the hundreds, a cabinet-style incubator becomes essential. For the resourceful individual with a limited budget or a penchant for DIY projects, crafting a homemade incubator is a viable option. Numerous plans and ideas can be explored in BYC's Incubators and Brooders section. Consider perusing brooder plans simultaneously, as you'll require one post-hatch. Temperature, the key factor in incubation. When it comes to successfully incubating eggs, the pivotal factor to monitor is temperature. The delicate balance of temperature directly influences the developmental pace of embryos, their viability, and, if mishandled, can lead to their demise. Effects of temperature fluctuations. Low temperature. Developmental issues, slightly lower temperatures result in delayed hatching, disrupting the embryo's normal growth rate. Malformations, inadequate temperatures for normal development lead to embryo malformations, hindering their chances of hatching. Cold exposure, a significant drop in temperature exposes embryos to cold stress, potentially causing their demise. High temperature. Accelerated development, slight elevations in temperature lead to accelerated embryo development, resulting in premature hatching. Size challenges, excessive heat may cause embryos to grow too large for their shells, complicating the hatching process. Malformations, prolonged exposure to high temperatures can cause malformations, jeopardizing the embryo's viability. Extreme high temperature. Fatality, prolonged exposure to temperatures reaching 104 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius, within the incubator or inside the egg proves fatal for embryos. Ideal temperatures. The target temperature varies based on the type of incubator in use. Forced air incubator, equipped with a fan for consistent air circulation, maintain a temperature of 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit, 37.5 degrees Celsius. Still air incubator, lacking a fan, measure the temperature at the top of the eggs, aiming for 101.5 degrees Fahrenheit, 38.6 degrees Celsius. Temperature measurement. Ensuring the accuracy of your incubator's temperature is paramount. Even if your incubator features a built-in digital temperature control, cross-verify it using reliable thermometers as inaccuracies may exist, particularly in budget-friendly digital models. Recommended thermometers. Digital thermometers designed for reptiles with a probe for placement in the incubator. Aquarium thermometers known for accuracy and ease of calibration. Calibrating your thermometer. Prior to relying on your thermometer's readings, calibration is essential. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. Fill a glass with ice, allowing it to melt until it reaches a 50-50 ice-water ratio. Immerse your thermometer in the glass, allowing it to stabilize for a few minutes. Verify that the thermometer reads 32 degrees Fahrenheit. If accurate, proceed to use it for incubation. Adjusting for calibration discrepancies. If calibration reveals a deviation from the accurate reading, a simple adjustment is necessary. For instance, if the thermometer reads 33 degrees instead of 32, consider it a 1 degree overestimation. Compensate by setting your forced air incubator to 100.5 degrees Fahrenheit instead of 99.5, ensuring the actual temperature is within the desired range. Understanding and meticulously managing temperature nuances ensures the optimal conditions for successful egg incubation. 
Humidity. Humidity is the second critical factor in egg incubation. Proper humidity levels are essential for the health and development of the growing embryos. Too much or too little humidity can lead to various issues such as failed hatching, deformities, or difficulty in hatching. For most poultry eggs, including chickens, ducks, turkeys, and geese, the ideal humidity levels during incubation are as follows. First 18 days, maintain humidity at around 45 to 50 percent. This initial period is crucial for embryo development and proper humidity prevents the eggs from losing too much moisture. Last three days, also known as lockdown, increase humidity to 65 to 70 percent. The final days before hatching require higher humidity to assist the chicks in breaking through the eggshell successfully. How to measure humidity? To monitor humidity accurately, you will need a reliable hygrometer. Like thermometers, it's advisable to cross-check the readings of your incubator's built-in hygrometer with an independent one, as inaccuracies can occur. Consider using a digital hygrometer with a probe for precise measurements. These are often available in stores catering to reptile supplies or online. Calibration is crucial for hygrometers as well, ensuring they provide accurate humidity readings. Calibrating your hygrometer. Calibrating a hygrometer involves creating a saturated salt solution to generate a known level of humidity. Here's how you can do it. Prepare a container with a tight-fitting lid. Place table salt in the container. Add a small amount of water to the salt, but avoid dissolving it completely. You want a slushy mixture. Put the hygrometer and a small thermometer in the container. Close the lid and wait for the humidity to stabilize. The ideal reading should be 75% as saltwater solutions reach equilibrium at this humidity level. If your hygrometer reads differently, adjust your humidity settings accordingly. Maintaining the right humidity. To control humidity in the incubator, you may need to adjust ventilation and water levels. Adding water to pans or channels within the incubator increases humidity, while increasing ventilation reduces it. During the lockdown period, ensure a higher humidity environment by adding water to achieve the desired level. With temperature and humidity under control, you've laid the foundation for a successful egg incubation process. In the next section, we'll delve into the specifics of setting and turning the eggs for optimal results. Preparing the incubator. Now that you're acquainted with the ideal temperature, equipped with a calibrated thermometer, and knowledgeable about humidity adjustments, let's proceed to set up your incubator. Follow these steps to ensure a conducive environment for egg incubation. Temperature adjustment, set the incubator to the recommended temperature, allowing it to stabilize for a minimum of 24 hours before introducing the eggs. If your incubator features an automatic turner, ensure it's operational during this period. Note that the turner's motors emit a subtle heat, impacting the overall temperature inside the incubator. Humidity setting, although the optimal humidity level may not be precisely known at the start, initiate by setting it to 30 or 40 percent. You can fine-tune this as needed throughout the incubation process. Consider heat sinks, enhance temperature stability by incorporating heat sinks. These are substances that retain heat and prove invaluable in scenarios such as power outages or incubator malfunctions. Simple options like a water bottle or river rocks can serve as effective heat sinks. Observation period allow the incubator to operate at the desired temperature for at least 24 hours, ensuring it maintains consistency. With the setup complete and the environment stabilized, you're now ready to introduce the eggs to commence the incubation process. The initial phase of incubation precedes the lockdown stage, during which eggs are continuously turned. The duration of this phase varies across species, for instance, it spans the first 18 days for chickens but extends to the initial 25 days for ducks. Throughout this incubation stage, essential tasks include regular egg turning and candling. Determining the hatch date. Your first step should be calculating the anticipated hatch date. While chicken eggs generally hatch in 21 days, the calculation involves more than straightforward calendar counting. Suppose you place chicken eggs in the incubator on the first of the month, they won't hatch on the 21st. Instead, the count is based on the days the eggs have been in the incubator. For example, if you set eggs at 10 a.m. on a Monday, the first complete day is on Tuesday at 10 a.m. To determine the hatch date, add the species-specific incubation period to the day you set the eggs. In the case of chicken eggs, setting on the first would result in a hatch date of the 22nd. If this method feels challenging, use a calendar. Place your finger on the egg setting date, move to the next date, counting as 1, proceed to the day after, counting as 2, and repeat until you reach the required number of days.
Interestingly, species with incubation periods of 21 and 28 days consistently hatch on the same day of the week they were set.